is the seagrass two cottage. It's our second one in the seagrass color. I uh, just finished it. It's got a 12,000 BTU Pioneer mini split. 19 windows, Harvey windows. A side custom door to match the grid on the windows. Put some flower boxes on the front. It's a tumbleweed trailer. The Dexter Axle 7500, the low wider trailer with the jacks on all the sides. Give you a look at the back side here. Bank of windows up on the top. There's a set of stairs on the inside there. So we put those up on the top to avoid the stairs. You'll see that in a minute. Uh, there's an outdoor shower. There's a vent up there for the exhaust fan in the bathroom. Oh, it's really pretty. Let's go inside. amp service, uh, external outlet, breaker, 50 amp plug, just literally is running on an extension cord uh, into my husband's shop. We've got some stairs, so here we go. So we just come in the uh, entrance, oops. Just come in the entrance, and uh, there's the bathroom. The bathroom has a slider, rubric slider for air. Put a canvas behind that slider. Let's open this back up. Fan. Uh, over the loo, over the loo cabinet. I'm gonna stand on the shower over here. So here's the bathroom. It's sea salt. Cabinet over the toilet. Uh, the toilet is put at an angle because the tongue, uh, the tongue right outside here. Uh, runs under that floor and actually the angle gives it a little bit more room in there. So it's nice uh, Wall mount sink 32 inch shower One piece de de uh, Delta Just finishing up painting in here. So Okay, so let's face out here We have open shelves for dishes. We have the Breville oven uh, can cook a 14 pound turkey and a full size large pizza. Uh, there's the LG washer dryer combo mounted right underneath the counter. There's an apron sink uh, with a single brush nickel faucet. There's a bank of windows uh, bringing a lot of natural light into the kitchen area, pantry. There's a double electric induction cooktop uh, right in the counter concrete like look of the counter uh, cabinets all ikea the floor is a uh, luxury vinyl made by armstrong and uh, it's got a cork not quite done yet there's a few little finishing things that i have to finish but it's got a cork layer in it uh, for quietness and for comfort on your feet your ankles all that good stuff uh, here we are in the back this is the living room area could also be the kitchen area. This couch uh, was put here for staging reasons, but it could be a table and chairs here. Uh, stairs, also double as storage. Um, the refrigerator, higher refrigerator, H-A-I-A-R. Uh, this is the top step to the stairs. Uh, right behind this picture on the wall, this canvas. Uh, the sunflower is the breaker box. Take it down. 
show you the breaker box. So everything's uh, everything is uh, noted where it goes, what it's for. Uh, the dimmers on all the light switches. It's a handle to go up to this loft. I'm going to crawl up to this loft first. So we have a ladder. This one I would consider a storage loft. Uh, the locks are both eight feet by eight feet. There's wall-to-wall -wall carpeting up here. Silver. I did put the padding under it. Uh, silver matches the whole uh, look of this tiny house. There's the split. Let me split. Uh, one, two, there's three windows in this loft. The sconce up here for light. Okay. Several plugs. Now let's look over this way. So there's another loft on the other side. Um, you see that top uh, platform of the refrigerator is the top stair. And these are cross ties. Pieces of, pieces of two by four going across here, the cross ties to hold the whole thing together. Uh, we did put a first floor bedroom in this. We had a lot of feedback on the last one. So people were looking for a first floor bedroom. Uh, it could be used as a multi-use room. It doesn't have to be a bedroom. Several people that have looked at this house already uh, said that they would actually use that loft over there as their bedroom. They would turn this into a uh, television room or uh, something like that. So windows is pretty. It's all V-groove. Uh, the paint is uh, Simply White by Benjamin Moore. Uh, the bedroom is Ocean Air by Benjamin Moore. The bathroom is uh, Sea Salt by Sherwin-Williams. Let's go back slide back over here. Can take a peek from up here. It's pretty. We did put a plug in with a USB. Uh, there's the remote for the mini split. Uh, staged it with a bunch of really pretty stuff. Uh, the stairs are cabinets and drawers. Uh, we've had a lot of activity in this tiny house, uh, so I did not ask everyone to take their shoes off before climbing up, and we've, like I said, we've had a hundred people at least come through here. So I will touch those up before it goes. But, um, so there's another, another bedroom area. Get down. Washer dryer, apron sink, room. nice three windows in the kitchen. Uh, doors on the stairs. What is this picture here? Uh, I'm still cleaning out because I was building in here, so there's a bunch of my supplies. But there's plenty of storage in here. More storage down here. And this is a 10.1 uh, cubic foot refrigerator. Actually, this whole setup is really nice. My sister came up with most of the ideas on this house because we had so much feedback on the last house. Uh, this one, this I'm into the first floor multi-use room, which we've staged as a bedroom. Let's go to Slides Lab. So let's get some privacy. It's a maple door painted it white. Uh, the sun's out right now, so it's pretty bright in this room, but. Uh, there's four windows in this bedroom or office, uh, living room, you could use it for wherever you want. It's eight feet by eight feet, give or take a few inches. And, uh, we do have a smoke detector uh, in this room. We have a smoke and a CO2 in the main ceiling. So let me just pan. Switch the door opening. It's pretty roomy in here. All V groove, LED lights. Little draw, not a big draw. Open this up and give you a view from 
give you a view from the bed. So this could be a super cool, this could be a super cool office. You know, a lot of young professionals are working from home now. And uh, so this is where you sleep. There's where you eat. There's where you shower. That's where you do your laundry. Self-contained unit. So it's got everything you need, all the bells and whistles in this little tiny house on wheels. And uh, for the summer, there's a outdoor shower in the back. So that's it. If anybody has any questions, let me know. It was a pleasure to build this one. And uh, I think we, I think we did a pretty good job with this. Everything you need to have a great life. Thanks. Thank you for looking. I appreciate it.